purpose of planning and scheduling is, of course, um, some of these slides, I, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but I'm hoping you can use some of these things to kind of work in your organizations and, 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 and use it to turn it around and, and show them what you need for planning and scheduling. But if you look at any top typical job, if you operate to breakdown, usually what happens. The equipment stops, and you, at that time you need to figure out what happened. And that can take a while just to fig figure out what, where is the stop, what's going on in the, in the production facility. They need to find the right people to fix the problem. You have to remember that maintenance crews are usually, I don't know how you guys are set up, but the full maintenance crew is only here 40 hours a week. And you have 168 hours a week. So the chance of maintenance not being there, the full maintenance group, is about 72%. It's a chance that we're not there when something happens. Equipment doesn't know what time or day it is. We need to find parts and tools, we need to repair it, and we test and start. If you say that's a typical operator breakdown, if we have a kitted part right next to this, we don't know when it's going to happen, but at least we can kind of just find the right pe people to fix the problem, find the parts and tools that are going to be quicker. We should push that down a little bit. We can repair, test, and start. We can get that time down quite a bit. Of course, if we can inspect, plan, and schedule, we can prepare all this in a shutdown, repair, test, and start, and go. I mean, that's, that's really if you want to show the purpose of planning and scheduling, why we're doing it. And if you look at this graph, the, gra the cost savings is not on the maintenance side. We'll save a few maintenance hours, but that's quite fairly small. Of course, the big money is in the production time that we say. So you, yeah, you can say this job is two hours, this job is eight hours. We'll save a few maintenance hours, but the big money, as you know, is going to be saving six, six hours of production loss. For all of you, that's, that's the truth. So I think that's important to understand why we plan and schedule. I think a lot of people struggle with why we, <clears throat> why we actually do that. Um, of course, then, we don't do it just for one job. We look at a shutdown, and we have a scheduled shutdown. We may maybe do some inspections a little bit more intensely, or we have a really good inspection system, so we inspect all the way up to the shutdown. We plan and schedule and get everything set up for the shutdown so we take care of many jobs. And, of course, we have a cutoff time that we're going to talk about. After that cutoff time, it should probably take the signature of the plant manager to actually get something in the shutdown. That's how seriously I would call that. Because if you start adding things to a shutdown and say, yeah, it's okay, you can just come here and add a job just because you forgot, you're never going to get that culture. These has to be very, very hard line if you're going to get really good planning and scheduling for your shutdowns, whatever that time period is. And then we can execute the shutdown, of course. So how many of you would say that you have a pretty clear cutoff time for, for for shutdowns. You may have one defined, but is it followed? No. We, we have one that is clearly defined, but it's not followed in any way, form, or fashion. Right. People don't care about it? Okay. They don't understand the importance of it? What about you guys? Maybe you have one? Where uh, at Ladder, he allows for the 10% the break in after the cutoff. Everything after that's break in work, and he cuts it down to a 10%. He's pretty. He sticks to the schedule pretty close. Yeah. So he does an excellent job of that. Okay. We exceed that 10%, something else has to give. You see so how that, that discussion? Right. Okay. Good. We don't actually have numbers as such, but we have definite cutoff. People do have to be reminded of it, but they at least try to see it. Okay. Good. How about you? You guys are shut down. You did really well for a while there, and I don't know how you guys are doing. I mean, we have the fine cut off time. And, you mm -hmm. know, I think for the most part we do a pretty good job, but it's still, you know, we got to shut down on a, our down day on a Tuesday, and Monday you come in, and you know, every once in a while it's a battle between operations and maintenance on it. There's the emotional decisions that this happened yesterday, so I think it's more important than what happened two weeks ago before we plan the schedule. You have the discussion of well, that's that's being handled. What needs to be taken away? Mm -hmm. I think we're pretty close to about ten percent. Yeah, but out to zero. Okay. Well, um, well, it's good. At least, at least you're evaluating. It sounds like. But again, if you have a situation where you used to have got away from that culture, so I know you guys used to have that because you had the cutoffs. So at some point, someone thought it was important. Now all of a sudden, you kind of that's what happens over time, right? <clears throat> it's important. 